Paul was talking about, he's a percussionist, so those those patches interest him a whole lot. We were talking about the Ashango bone uh, patch, and he was talking about wanting to be able to have some other modes of maybe dampening the sound and so forth, and he didn't realize that, for example, on that technique, one thing that I do is I assign a pedal to the resonance on it to where you can be playing something, but then if you really want to just slap it and let it ring, you can, you've got a damper pedal almost like you would with a vibraphone or something. Really, really some neat stuff you can do with that. <clears throat> Ready yet? Uh, not yet. I've got a yeah, I had a question ready? last night about no. performing on the continuum because I don't know it very well. Um, I was astounded to not find easy octave keys on the half, especially on the half uh, size one. And various people were telling me there's ways around with pedals and, and this and that. Yeah, but normally you want to keep your hands free and, and use pedals. Yeah, often I play with my right hand just soloing, and, and, and then I ride the octave buttons on a controller or, or on a synth, you know, and, and have gotten a habit of doing <laughs> Probably a bad habit. Yeah. So here's a dumb thing I do for that, for that very purpose. Uh, because you can assign a pedal to that, um, I have in this cheap, this is like $2 hack, uh, an electrical box, like like your outlet goes in in the wall, and I put in a toggle switch and a, 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 a switch plate uh, and a put it into the pedal input. input. And so I have this toggle switch yeah. literally <laughs> sitting on top of my continuum uh, as an octave. And I can click, and I want to change it because you can get the kind that are more like a little sort of a little rocker switch, which would be easier than the toggle. I just have around and do uh, it. But then you can just kind of slap that. So with uh, ink deck, yeah. left, yeah. right. Well, well, it's, yeah, it's down octave down shift or not octave shift, shift in oh. that particular case. Yeah, it's, it's, not a it's in two positions. It's a two position. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 But I, I do that, and, it, and it's really quick, and it's right there. Oh, and it's cool. fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, I mean, it's, it's like five dollars of the parts. Right. You, you probably could hack one of those little forward back. Is that on the screen? Which yeah. is yeah. 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 page turning and all that. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I'm sorry, Paul, is not here to see this, but um, so here's the stock. A shango bone patch. I'll turn it here. You got it? So it's a wonderful patch. I love to use it. So I like to, to um, adjust this ring barrel here. Is this funny? Is this yeah, use the little mouse. And you, that's also under pedal control, too. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what I like to do with it is use it like almost like you would a damper pedal. So I use the other pedal. This is the expression pedal, and then you can buy the Yamaha. What is it? The FC3. Yeah, the, the uh, other FC3 one. It's yeah. actually a. It's like a damper pedal that's continuous, mm -hmm. and just assign. You know the the minimum and top values that you want for these. And I'll just try to emulate a little bit the way I do it, but so you can have it to where it's normally damped. acoustic and then you take it to a different place it still sounds really organic and it's very musical um, there you know so one of the things that you know instead of thinking about gestures that that, that I thought is worth pondering is think about some other ways that you could really use these pedals in a way that that you normally don't think of with the gestures mm -hmm. of course you could set a lot of these things up to where maybe this changes as you increase in Y value and so forth which is also very useful um, another thing I use a lot, and you'll hear it in the, our opening piece tonight, is um, the sustenuto pedal is so useful for drones and things, just just setting it up for a drone, especially with, with the expression pedal, with the continuous expression pedal. And then you can, uh, you can adjust the volume with the pedal of that drone without it affecting what 
what you're playing, which is super, super useful. Ed, you were wanting to show that? Uh, yeah, I'll just show it using sustain. It's the system that <coughs> works well, but, and this is actually something that works well with the Continuum Mini as well as the Continuum because even though that Mini is really a, a single touch surface, when you sustain things, you're switching polyphony voices, so you can use the pedal to capture those and hold them. shift is only going to um, affect the new notes. All right. Yeah, so it won't sh it shift anything. And the, the same technique here where you can um, pick up. Um, Same pedal. So here, if I if I move my um, sus continuous sustain pedal, um, I can uh, uh, go from one to one twenty seven. But I may want to release it, so I use the other pedal to bring it down to zero. So now I can capture yeah. something with one pedal. Sostenuto one and Sostenuto two. Say you're doing a drone thing, you you know go from one to one twenty seven. Then you can not you know do a drone thing that actually changes key. If you want to change at some point by just 
you know, like saying, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you know, your left hand is, you know, the drone is in B flat, but you want to go to G, put them on the separate pedals, just whap them in, you know, leave them for one, and that'll hold it, and then you can go back three, two different keys, play your yeah. for your drone, and then, if you had and you can play with both hands without having to refire it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, Rob, did you want to talk a, a little bit about your finger technique? Well, I, I have to cut my fingernails today. I, you know. I, I don't have any, anybody have any questions? I don't have any particular <laughs> thing. I was just going to actually do that thing with just showing the two, okay. uh, but that uh, you just... But I also, uh, you, maybe what you could talk about is the way you play and the way you transfer your piano technique into mm. uh, memorizing... Mm. Um, uh, you know, like, like doing uh, um, like thumb cross, thumb, uh, and like stuff. yeah, that sort of thing. So like, I I find when I play, I actually do my cross chords as if I was playing black and white keys. Um, yeah. One question: Do you have a triposition pedal here? Uh, no, I don't. Oh. All right. Um. Well, <clears throat> is there a sound that's like the same more? I mean, I, uh, um, I mean, I used to play guitar also, so I mean, that's actually kind of an interesting thing is, you know, without, you know, just the, the feeling of bending, let's say we're playing blues or something like that, without, uh, you know, pitch bend, you know, everything is all of a sudden, you're right, you know, everything is kind of right here in the one hand without any of this, you know. This is, you know, one of the legendary blues sounds right here, but... <laughs> you know, so like, it's these, you know, like these techniques, you know, like say, you know, like if you're sliding. So, you know, there are all these little mm -hmm. things, you know, like what would be like, you know, little pitch bends. So, you know, this thing is all of a sudden doing your pitch bends and then you come down solid on the next key. You know, so you just a little things there. That reminds me too of, um, of like, no, it's keep seat. Um, <laughs> like a tremolo on a guitar, you know, where you're wanting to do a trill on the same position. Like, it's not a very good keyboard technique, but with this, I'll oftentimes just bend my, yeah, I'll bend my arm all the way over to where now I can, like, do a trill, but on the same note, like, going. And with string type sounds, you can get a nice tremolo type of effect with that. So you have to sometimes think away from the keyboard technique and, and do some string stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, plus, I mean, the thing about piano technique is applied to this is like, you know, it's always the uh, applying what you know, the temptation of want to apply what you know, because, you know, you're a piano player and you know all this, you know, thing like this. But, and you want to hold on to that, but, you know, the big two things immediately are the black notes come down to the front and you can slide your finger from a white note to a black note. You know, I mean, that those two things right there are kind of mammoth as a messing up your keyboard, you know, your keyboard technique. So I, I don't know really what the answer is that except to a mess up. But I got to say, uh, if any of you have tried to try position pedal, okay, so, you know, like with, um, Arpeggiated things. This thing is, I, I've been messing with a lot. We don't have one here. But they are like really, you know, invaluable kind of. Maybe thing. explain what it is. Yeah, what is okay. it? It's a rocker. It's a rocker thing with. Uh, um, I, okay, so your heel, you can assign this. So you say your heel is down an octave or down two octaves, and in the middle is your baton, wherever you normally are, and then, then go up. So say if you want to say, uh, like, uh, something like that. It's just taking most basic. Uh, uh, okay. So I mean, you can stay in the one position, and then you have a choice. 
place of when you get to the top note, uh, I mean, potentially you're going to go. You can, you can change on the pedal right there. Now you could have it so it affects the next note or immediate. So, I mean, it's a little bit weird, you know, talking about this, and I can't really illustrate it for you. But this yeah. is a great thing. So if you want to, sometimes it's, like I said, if you want to. So, I'm not worrying about tuning right now, but you get the idea of something. You want to do something yeah. like that. And it's a technique because when you hit the pedal, what it's going to do is it's going to affect the next note. Well, it depends on the setting. Setting, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. there is one that's immediate, which I haven't really... I'm having a little harder time with that than going for the next note. But it's always yeah. really interesting. So this is a whole different technique of practicing something else that is actually really cool and helps a lot with such things as, you know, you know, because some of the stuff, if you change your position rapidly, the pitch is going to be a little yeah. unreliable. And you know? this allows you to lock your playing into a single octave, right. switch up and, and down. So and instead, of, instead of you just playing with your fingers, you're also playing with your... Yeah. Foot. Because the more you jump, the harder it's going to be hit, to hit that pitch again. Yeah. And this is what Salah did on yeah. the mixture trip. Yeah. Thing. Or with five dollars worth of parts, you can do it with your left hand and just play the one octave here. <laughs> and the no, 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 note in the octave uh, for every note that you're going to play and you never move it so you he played just stuff faster than you play on piano by keeping his fingers uh, keeping both hands parked in one place and using his feet to shift octaves and that's the only instrument you can do that on because you need both hands in order to never move your fingers. So it's very different than a violin or saying where right, you're right, right. adjusting by half steps all the time, switching strings. Right, we were talking about arpeggio, so that you're not no, using you need, you know, yeah. but, but yeah, but if you're doing like a, an arpeggio that's not like even, say it's going. Okay, I mean, then you, you, I mean, you yeah. can't just. Right. The second at, octave is different. At the peak of his playing, it was amazing because, you know, that's a very nonlinear instrument. It was extremely hard to get the pitches right, but once you found the pitches, for notes within one octave. He didn't want to move. Yeah. He just didn't move again. Yeah. And you know, it's an incredible technique that nobody ever learned. He demonstrated it in the 1980s after his peak, and he just couldn't do it anymore. It, it didn't sound good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he at one time he was really good at that. It's just you know, and he had the immediate switch. That's why I put the immediate switch in because that's what Oscar Sala did. Uh -huh. But I don't know if anybody else in the world will ever be able to do that. Rob, did you find this? Pedal you're talking about tri tripartite, what is it? Tri tri that that's that tripartite's over now. <laughs> <laughs> we're all together in this. But the, the pedal uh, you were talking about. Yeah. Was it hard to learn the technique? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a real thing. I mean you really gotta practice. It dances, like, yes. Yeah. It is so in hard that I, I I'm actually feel embarrassed about these tri value pedals because people and in fact, I'm behind building them, and I'm unmotivated to do so because they're hard enough to actually make any use. You know, it's as if, as if uh, people watch Randy, and they say, "Oh yeah, I, I, I want a theremin. I'll do that too." Right. <laughs> oh, okay, right. maybe. Slow down. Uh, you know, and and so I am, I am uh, a bit concerned so, that it's uh, that no matter what you say on a web page, right? It, it's <coughs> basically a misrepresentation. And you're right. Your finger technique is so much better at octave switches that until you get way beyond any normal human octave yeah. switching it with fingers would make Well, I sense. find just anything at the end of my legs and trying to control anything with the feet is... But also with precise timing. Yeah, you yeah. Under, yonder lands. It's well, like tap, tap dancing comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Strict regimen. Yeah, well, but yes. they're real skilled. Yeah. Yeah. But any, anyway, for me, for me, this tri, tri, uh, triathlete pedal is really kind of fantastic thing. I, I've been working on this one piece that Oscar, uh, Oscar Sala played, which is really a bad idea uh, when it comes down to it, but I'm doing it anyway. And uh, the, that pedal is just totally necessary. Interesting, three different switch areas. Yeah. yeah Who no, makes it? Two jacks. Uh, no. It's, it's a stereo. Oh. It's like a rocker. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it's a rock. Do you have any extras in your van? Uh, <laughs> up in van. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. So, 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 it's very industrial, it will be used for like, like, like machinery control. Right. So this thing weighs like yeah, know, 20 pounds. Like, so is it very hard to actually? No. Oh, it's I really so made to, to sit right under your foot and just the action of you walking forward or back. I used to okay. you have to yeah. oh, press on your heel or press your heel. Yeah. And I've tried the other ones too, which I found less yeah. reliable, yeah. which was the yeah. rock yeah. this way. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, those are available, so I experimented with them. And I, I just found the, the heel. The main reason is because it was nicer to, uh, you need to be able to rest your weight on it. That is a nice car you got there. I'd like to continue. So, who is your sponsor again? Uh, let me see. Well, bedrooms, of course. The bedrooms, Alcibur, you know, the new uh, uh, marital. Uh, Oh, there's your house. Yeah, like drunk. Yeah, drunk. Yeah. 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 I think we have pizza back here, don't we? Yes. I'll find it until it serves. Oh, no. Yes. 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 <laughs> so for someone who's coming at this fairly new without a strong background in anything, would you start with something that's like geared towards traditional piano? Or would you start with something that's geared towards... Oh, well, but I start with some, you mean repertoire? You mean you you what you need to work on? Or? Just, just in terms of learning to use the instrument from, without having a strong Are you, background. okay. Um, I would just mess around for a while and not hold yourself to any particular thing. I think just, you know, searching in this thing is so fun. I mean, you know, the tendency is to want to put order on a situation that, well, you don't have to do that right away. I mean, it's just so and much And Dave, you, so you've already fun. got that first step of interfacing it with a with the control that you're very comfortable with, and then marries well with it. So, you know, exploring that and exploring patches and then Seeing how they feel different on the mini and seeing what the pluses and minuses are. Speaking of order, lunch is served. Woo! Okay.